the purpose of this video is to go over crashing in Microsoft, not in, my, in, in project management. What we have here is a project network with the four activities, activity A, B, C, and D. And if you can see them, A has a normal duration of five and a crash duration of three. So every node in this network has um, the identifier A in this case. It's normal time and it's crash time. These um, durations, these are normal durations and crash durations, meaning how long in total it will take to complete each of these activities under normal circumstances or if you speed them up by say paying overtime or paying for expedited shipping or something in order to shorten how long it takes to get something done. Your challenge is to take this project, which has a 14-day duration, and reduce it to 12 days by using project crashing. So um, when we look at this, the first question we have down here, what is the critical path and project duration? Well, if you look at this network, you can see that the longest path is BCD. Activity A is not on the critical path because it has no slack. What is its project duration? Well, it's just the sum of the normal times of the critical path. And I have identified B, C, and D as the critical path with asterisks, asterisks here. So if you add up 5 and 6, that's 11 plus 3, gives you 14. That is how long it will take to complete this critical path, this project, due to the sum of the critical path normal times. Uh, you've done some research, and in anything in red is given in the question, but we'll assume some research has been done and it's been given to you that if you can speed things up for this project, you could shorten the length of time it takes to complete each of these activities, in this case by three days for activity A, to two days in total by for activity B, four days in total for activity C, and three days for activity D. This represents the duration that would go in the duration column in Microsoft Project if you were making up a schedule that was all made up of crash times. Not so you'll do that, but just so you know that this is the time it will take to complete each of these activities under accelerated conditions. Now I've added a column here called maximum crash time. This refers to the amount by which you can reduce each activity's duration. So the normal duration of A is 5. Its crash duration is 3. So that means you can shave off two days from activity A, uh, which represents an opportunity to speed up the project. So uh, all of these have crash times, which are, uh, which are simply the maximum crash times, which is the most they can be reduced by. So activity C is normal time is 6. It can be reduced to four days, which means it has two days that can be shaven off it at most. We can't shorten it any more than two days. Now the normal cost is given as well, and so is the crash cost. All of the other columns in this table, the maximum crash time and the crash cost per day, as well as this total, you have to calculate. I've shown you how we did the maximum crash time. We just took D10 minus E10, D10 minus E10, and that gave us, gave us two. Uh, we just copied that formula down. This is just the sum of this column using the sum function up here. We summed up this column. This is the crash cost per day. And that's achieved using this general formula. The crash cost per day is equal to the crash cost minus, minus the normal cost divided by the normal duration subtract the crash duration. So simply what we've done here is we've taken this minus Sorry, we've taken this minus this, 700 minus 600, and put that in the numerator, which would be 100. And then we took uh, 5 minus 3, which is 2, and put that in the denominator. 100 divided by 2 is 50. And that's how much it will cost to crash this activity by one day. Here's the formula up here, H10 minus G10 divided by, and I could have gone... I went F10, but I could have gone, uh, I could have just taken the normal duration, subtract the crash duration, and get the same number. Okay, so that's the formula that I used up here in order to achieve this column. And I just copied that down as well. Okay, so now that you get your data in place, what you can do is you can do a crashing exercise. And what you have to do is figure out, as it said here, how do we reduce this project duration from 14 days, which is the sum of these three activities on the critical path, to only 12 days. To do that, to achieve your target duration of 12 days, crash the cheapest critical activities, the minimum you absolutely must crash them, without crashing beyond the maximum crash time. 
So we'll look in this list here of cheap activities and we'll see that the cheapest one is activity A at only $50 per day. However, you'll notice that it's not a critical activity. So if we crash activity A, we're just going to build slack into the schedule up here. So what I've said here is do not crash activity A because it's not a critical activity, even though it's the cheapest to crash. Crashing will only build slack in the schedule. So we have to go looking for other activities to crash. The only activities on the critical path are B, C, and D. B is $90 a day, C is $140, and D is $120. So we may say, well, great, let's just crash B two days, and that'll shave two days off the critical path. Bring it down to 12. The problem with that is the maximum crash time is only one day for activity B. We can't go beyond one day, or else something will happen bad, or it's not possible to do it. So our next step, then, is to crash activity B as much as possible. Its maximum crash day is one day, so crash it one day. This reduces the project duration to 13 days, which is still not enough to achieve the target duration of 12 days. So at least we were able to crash it one day, but we still are short one other day to reach our target crash, of our target duration of 12 days. So the next step is to look at the remaining two activities that still have crash time in them. And we find that C has a crash time of 140 per day and D has a crash time of 120. So we, we would prefer to crash activity D because it's the cheapest of C and D at 120. And we see that we do have some crash time left to do it. We can crash it a maximum of two days. But we only need one day in order to get this project down to 12 days duration. So this is what we do. We crash activity D next by one day. At 120 per day, activity D is cheaper than activity C, which is 140 per day. Notice we only crash activity one day, activity D one day, because that's all we need in order to achieve the target duration of 12 days. Yeah, we could crash it two days, but then that would just build slack into the schedule that we don't need. So we, our strategy then, our crashing strategy, is simply to crash activity B by one day and activity D by one day. Now I've done a little cost summary over here where you can see uh, what the normal cost was. And we need to calculate the crash cost and the additional cost of crashing the project compared to normal. To do that, I did a little series of formulas over here. And I created the new cost of the project after crashing. And all I did was I looked at activity A. I said, well, its normal cost was 600, and we didn't change it because it was a non-critical activity, so it's still $600 under the crashing scenario. Activity B, we shortened that up by one day. So this would be, if I have a formula in here. I just took this G11 and added I11 to it and gave, that gives me 590. Activity C we left alone because it was too expensive to crash it. So it was originally 800 at its normal cost and it is still 800 at its normal cost. Activity D we shortened one day. So for this formula here, I just went to this 300, which is in G13, and I added one day, which is $120, which gives me 420. If I add all that up, then I end up with 2410 as the new crash cost of this entire project. So I will just put a formula that points to this 2410 and come up with the additional cost, which is just the difference between 2410 minus 2200 gives me 2210. So I can say that in crashing B one day and crashing D one day, I add an additional $210 to this project to achieve a target duration of 12 days. And that's how you do project crashing in Microsoft Excel.